What everyday bourbons did I find in 2023 and find a love for? Let's find out. What is going on everybody? Nathan here with The Everyday Drinker bringing you guys a brand new video. Today I'm going to go over my favorite bottles of bourbons that I found in 2023 that are not super limited, did not allocated, but are regular bottles that you can go out there and find for the most part sitting on shelves. Now these bourbons are not strictly to be released from 2023. These are bourbons that well maybe I just didn't have before and found, picked up and found a love for and I want to let you guys Guys know what those bourbons are because hey maybe you were sitting on these bottles didn't really know what these bottles had to offer and well I'm gonna let you know what those are before we get into my bottles though as always I want to know what bottles you found in 2023 that were just regular shelf bottles that you picked up and that really you really found a love for if you're brand new drop that like helps to the channel like you wouldn't believe and smash that subscribe button so that we are on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Link to the Patreon and the store is down below so go check those out as well but without further ado let's get into bottle number one. Bottle number one is going to go to RD1 Maple Cask Finished Bottled Bourbon. And this was sent to us by RD1. They were kind enough to send me this and their Imbarana finish. And this is so darn good. If you're looking for a dessert in a glass, this is definitely one to go for. It's not going to be that traditional bourbon in your face, oaky, you know, a little bit of a vanilla bomb. This is going to be a maple sweetness, a maple pancake in a glass. You can pour this over a rock ball and it's an old fashioned in its Itself, pretty much absolutely love this bottle it's coming in at 99.9 .9 proof so almost at 100 proof you know you're almost hitting that triple digit mark but I will tell you right now I'm pretty sure the, that these are sitting on shelves and if it's in your state it's not here in Jersey so if it's in your state I highly 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 recommend go going to the store picking up this RD1 maple bourbon cask finish bottle number two Bottle number two is going to go to Cedar Ridge Double Barrel. This bottle is wow -zo. so darn sweet, so darn char, sweet char. There's a vanilla, there's a little bit of a chocolate espresso note coming through on this bottle. Coming in at 105 proof, so you're getting that proof punch that we're all looking for. Really, really nice. This is a really, really good winter sipper as well. That video is going to come out here in the, co in the next couple of weeks as well. What bottles I'm going to be enjoying in the winter time, and one of these might be in there because of just how darn winter fied deliciousness it really is. But man, I will tell you this right now. I'm not quite sure how many states this is sold in but this is so darn delicious i really really recommend picking this up if you can find it on your shelves so darn worth it bottle number three Bottle number three is going to go to the Redwood Empire Pipe Dream Cask Strength Bourbon. And I know that these are available all over the place. You can get these on their website when they drop. This one is coming in at 116.8 proof. And holy cow, is this a like uh, an amazing, just like well-versed vanilla cake in a way, right? I mean, you're getting the vanilla cake, you're getting the vanilla extract, you're getting a vanilla icing you're getting so many vanilla notes coming off of this bottle that you know I, I always talk about a vanilla bomb being the, um, the, the 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 benchmark single barrel but what I'll tell you right now is this is um, just a really really well balanced sweet it's got that proof it gives you everything that you're looking for and it it's not just a one note wonder right you're finding so many different nuances in those vanillas that it is just so so delicious and that is why I'm recommending it and this is why it's one of my favorites that I was able to get my hands on in 2023 that is a regular shelf offering that unfortunately wasn't in the mix for bourbon of the year bottle number four Bottle number four is going to go to Old Soul Distillery. Now this, 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 I will tell you this. This is this. This is that stuff. This is really, really good. This is a single barrel. This was sent to me from a subscriber. And it is one of my favorite 115 proof bottles of bourbon that I have on my shelf. It holds its own against everything else that I put against it. It's got this um, really, really nice 
dark chocolate. It's got a little bit of this earthy tone to it, but it's a sweet grass. It's got a little citrus punch to it as well. One of my favorite bottles that, you know, I personally wouldn't have picked up if I didn't have a subscriber send to me. And when I do see these, I do recommend picking them up because of just how darn good this bottle right here is. Bottle number five. Bottle number five is gonna go to a true low shelfer. This is Rebel 100 Wheated Bourbon. And this is one of my absolute favorite mixers to use. At 100 proof, at $18, you just cannot go wrong with this Rebel 100. It's a weeded bourbon, so it's it's very palatable for a lot of people. It's sweet, it's got a little bit of that vanilla, it's got a little bit of that earthiness that you find in, the, in some weeded bourbons, but it, it's, it's, it's not super, it's not super complex. That's why I really enjoy using it as a mixer. And it amplifies those, this, the flavors that you used in those cocktails. When I used orange bitters in an old fashioned, you get those, that, that sweet orange, but a little touch of that bitterness. When you use chocolate bitters, it amplifies that sweet chocolate in there. And it is a really, really nice bourbon that amplifies the, the, the components that go in those cocktails really, really well. And that is why Rebel 100 Weeded Bourbon is on this list. Bottle number six. Bottle number six is going to go to the Benchmark Single Barrel. And I know I was talking about this one being a layered vanilla cake, but this one is just a one layer cake and it is a vanilla bomb. I, I don't know who I've poured this for because this is like my second or third bottle of this. I can't really remember. And they don't find that beautiful, sweet vanilla icing. You're not getting the cake. You're just getting that strict, sweet vanilla icing all over your mouth, coming in at 95 proof. And it is a 23, $24 bottle. I found this one um, back in the beginning of 2023, and I don't look back on this bottle whatsoever. One of my absolute favorite low priced, lower approved bottles that you can I can find here in Jersey regularly in most of my stores. Not quite sure about you all in every other state, um, but if you find the Benchmark Single Bow, it's probably my favorite Benchmark offering at the moment. Bottle number seven. Bottle number seven is gonna go to John J. Bowman Single Barrel. Now, we just had this bottle on the bottles that I always hunt and will always have on my shelf. And well, why wouldn't I? Because this, I found it in 2023 and it is so darn good. 50, $55 bottle you just cannot go wrong with whatsoever. 100 proof, as everybody says, comes out of pretty much the Buffalo Trace Distillery, gets thrown into another pot still, doesn't really do much to it, gets thrown into a bottle that says John J. Bowman on it, and it is just that darn good. I have, I think, five or six different samples of it, so I, I pretty much have half a bottle in samples alone, along with my own bottle of it, and I, I know Know, I know a place that has these bottles, and uh, once this gets a little bit lower, I will have a backup of it um, because of just how much I love this bottle, and I was so happy I was able to find it in 2023. Bottle number eight. Bottle number eight is going to go to 13th Colony Rye Whiskey finished with French Oak Staves. Now, I know I'm throwing a rye on this list because it definitely deserves to be on this list. And uh, I will definitely be picking up a second bottle of this once this one gets a little bit lower. 13th Colony was kind enough to send this bottle my way and I love this bottle so, so much. Coming in at 94 proof, you get in that really nice, um, deep, rich French oak. It brings that deep, rich, uh, dark vanilla that comes through. It's almost like it's, you're just straight up having vanilla extract coming out of this rye whiskey, and it's amp it's bold. It's really nice. You've, you're getting that a uh, really nice orange note, but you're getting those, um, uh, a little bit of a pininess to it as well, but it's so well balanced, this bottle. It's 94, 95 proof, 95 proof, 
and you're getting every little bit of beautifulness that this bottle has to offer. Now, like I said, I want to know what bottles you found in 2023 that you really enjoy that you might not have picked up unless they were gifted to you or you just said, what the heck, why not? I'm going to pick this up and you absolutely enjoyed it. It could be a bottle that was released in 2023 or it could be a bottle like Maker's Mark and you never had Maker's Mark before and you picked it up and you, you actually enjoyed it and it's going to be one of your go-tos. I want to know what those bottles are for you guys. Like I said, leave that like, drop that subscribe. Till next time, this has been Nathan with the Everyday Drinker. Cheers.